okay so in this video i want to talk about the output command just like his name suggests the output command is a way of displaying um, statements it works uh, very similarly to the display statement as a matter of fact you can use the output command anywhere you would normally use the display command or display statement okay so let's go to app and uh, let's create a new program as always it's going to be a very uh, basic program so let's name it uh, os for output statement press enter and uh, you can access the output statement several ways there are several ways of accessing that command uh, one way would be by just going to f3 input output and then uh, it's going to be number six you can either press six or enter okay so that's one way of doing it or you can also go to catalog that's where all your co commands functions would be at so you can just uh, press O and it's gonna show you all the commands starting with the letter O and uh, the output is over here so you can just uh, press enter to select it and put it on the program editor or the way I like to do it I just like to tap it but since I'm uh, recording this on the cell phone I don't wanna block the mic so I'm doing this with one hand I'm going to be slightly slower so that's how you would normally do the output statement or command so as always I like to put a uh, clear IO okay it's going to uh, clear the page for me whenever I run the program it's gonna make sure uh, everything looks uh, clean so the syntax for the output statement is let's go to catalog again and show you that remember if you don't know how to use a, a specific command you can always go to catalog and sometimes it is going to show you the syntax not always if it doesn't show you the command then uh, you probably need to take it to the menu okay so at the uh, lower corner of the display here lower uh, left corner you can see the syntax it says row column expression if you have trouble uh, reading that you can also press f1 and it's going to show you the same help uh, feature so row column expressions so row and columns are you know you have to give uh, those uh, values integers and uh, expression is going to be a uh, can uh, it can be a, a string or it can even be a, a variable okay so now let's go back now that we know how to use the output statement let's just uh, uh, do something with a string first so just like I said it works uh, very similarly to the display statement but you have more uh, options with the output statement because you can uh, technically uh, display uh, a sentence anywhere you want so output I'm gonna give a uh, by default, you know, the default val value is not, the manual really does not say anything about the default value. So unfortunately, you have to play with it. There really isn't any automated way of, uh, let's say you want to center your text. There isn't any automated way of doing so. You have to just play with numbers because the way it works, the first uh, value is going to be row. So that is going to place your expression. Uh, that is going to um, uh, affect your uh, expression vertically that's the row and the second value is going to affect your expression horizontally so the 10 here is there really is not you know a specific row for 10 it just depends on expression okay so 10 is gonna place your expression on a on a certain row okay so it's just gonna make little it's gonna make a sense in a little bit so if i put i'm just gonna put 10 10 for now and I'm going to open quotation, put a string in it, and I'm just going to call this uh, output uh, statement. Okay, so if I go to home, I can just launch my program and see how it's going to come out. So as you can see, it is uh, displaying my output statement on row 10, whatever that number, uh, whatever row that number corresponds to, it's going to display my statement starting from that uh, row. And it's also going to uh, move my uh, statement to the right, that is the column. So the column is going to affect your expression horizontally and the row is going to affect your expression vertically, okay? So let's give those two different numbers so you can make sense of it. Let's give our row, let's give our row 50, okay, just to make the difference obvious. And let's make, let's give our, uh, the column 0. Okay, so as you can see, the row is 50, so it's going to move my uh, 
statement at the very, very, uh, very close to the bottom. So that affects my statement vertically. And the column is going to affect my statement horizontally. So if you give it zero, then it's not going to, it's gonna, it's pretty much going to be against uh, the screen. Okay. And in case you might wonder, you probably might be wondering, uh, can I give it negative uh, numbers? Let's give that a try, shall we? So if I give this uh, negative, let's see what's going to happen. Negative 10, and let's give uh, the column negative, uh, negative 20, okay? So remember, row is supposed to move your uh, expression vertically, and column is going to move your expression horizontally. So if negative numbers work, then uh, this is going to put my uh, expression on uh, a row that corresponds to the value of negative 10. So let's uh, run it. So as you can see, negative numbers do work indeed. So, but let's uh, exit out of here because it will be slightly kind of hard to explain this. So if I go out and, uh, okay, let's go back to my program. And uh, if I change this to zero, let's put this to zero first. So that's gonna be horizontally, I mean uh, vertically. Press uh, run the program again. Okay, so it's kind of it's really hard to do this with one hand because <laughs> I don't want to block the mic, so I'm gonna be a little bit slow. Okay, so if you neg negative numbers, then it's gonna still move your you know uh, your uh, expression to the left. Uh, this time because we gave a negative 20 to the column so since column is going to affect your expression horizontally if you give it a positive number it's going to move your expression to the right if you give a negative number it's going to move your expression to the left of the screen and uh row works very similarly row does the same thing you give a negative number it's going to move your expression vertically to the top i mean uh i mean vertically to the to down and if you give a negative number it's gonna move your expression vertically to the top okay so the uh, handy way uh, the most efficient efficient way of using the row statement I mean the output statement is uh, to you know give uh, your let's say you wanna put uh, two uh, statement next uh, right next to each other Let's say you want uh, one thing with uh, text instrument calculators, at least uh, the one with a 68,000 MC microprocessor uh, processor. You cannot really uh, display your results uh, on the same line. Okay, so I'm going to show a little bit what I mean. So if I'm, I'm just going to make a little a simple program, input. First, I'm just going to get rid of this statement. Okay, so I'm going to put... Uh, input statement uh, enter a number okay so I'm just gonna do uh, I'm gonna store that in the variable called a and uh, let's see uh, so I'm gonna do this operation uh, a uh, times 10 I'm going to store that in a variable called B. So I'm just going to do a enter number to be multiplied. Multiply by 10. I hope that's going to be clear. So I'm going to store this one in a variable called B. I'm going to display A. Okay. So let's try to see what's going to happen. So I'm going to do uh, 10. 10 times 10 is 100. Okay. So what if I wanted to uh, display uh, something like uh, your result is 100, but I want those two to be on the same line. So let's go back. So if you were to use the display statement, then uh, you can do a uh, display. Actually, yeah, display in a string your result. Your result is when you put the uh, comma B. Let's put forty-five. 
your result is 450 but i don't i didn't want 450 to be uh uh on a new line i want 450 to be right next to result so that's where the output statement comes in okay but here unfortunately like i said there really isn't any other method of doing it so you have to play with the output statement and uh you know just try to figure it out so here what we can do i can just uh you know because i don't want uh this video is probably going to be long because there's actually a lot to cover here okay it's there is a lot because output statement can be really uh it can be really uh challenging sometimes you know it's not hard it's just uh, it can be really time consuming so i'm probably gonna cover a lot on different ways of using it so display your result is b so what i can do uh, i can display your result is i can use the output statement for that i can use two output statement but i'm just gonna leave the display statement as is and uh i'm going to put uh this uh, column here and i am going to make a new output uh, command that's just going to display the result okay so we already have uh you know some uh minor uh thought on how to use the output statement so we have to put the row and column first so since uh if this program run it's first going to clear you know to make sure i'm starting the program in a new page and then it's going to display this uh, all these uh, statement the input statement is going to remain on the screen and uh the display the, the, when it takes the input is also going to uh, keep that my uh, number they want to uh, input it. it's going to keep that on the screen as well so what i want to do i just want to clear those because i don't want to i don't want all those stuff going on, on the screen so as soon as it finished doing that i can you know the cal since the calculation does not appear on the screen it really does matter what i'm where, where i am going to put my clear io so as soon as uh the user get my number the program gets my number i want the program to clear the screen so that's what i want okay so before the display before the program can display the result is going to clear the screen so what's going to happen when this the, the screen is clear is cleared then the display statement is going to be displayed at the very top okay it's going to make sense in a little bit since that is going to be displayed at the very top and uh i can display with the output statement so the very first line of uh, the screen uh, seems to correspond to uh, zero row zero and uh the column we just have to guess you know we just have to guess the column positive number is going to uh, move our expression to the right so in this case the expression is going to be uh, res the result here which is b so let's just do a uh, uh, 70 i like to go with 70 if uh, the uh, the ex uh, the statement we are going to be displaying our result is not too long like here we all result is that's just three words it's it's fairly short so i like i'm going to use 70 see what that is going to give and then i'm going to put the expression b okay so let's go ahead and run the program enter let's put a uh, 45 there you go so your result is okay so i'm um, hmm, why did he not the, okay so the reason why it didn't uh, display is that's because 450 that is an uh, overlap if i use 70 as the column that is uh, 70 is going to uh move uh, the result uh, 450 or uh, variable b is going to move uh, that result to uh, a column that corresponds to the value of 70 so that is overlap so 70 is uh, too small so i'm probably gonna need to move it slightly to the uh, more to the right so let's go back to uh program and uh let's put uh 90 90 should be more than enough 90 go back and run it again and uh let's put a 45 same number enter wow that was <laughs> barely enough okay so your, your result is 450 so that's how the output statement works and if i had not clear my io what happens is that uh just observe what happens if i had not clear my io let's enter 45 then uh it is still going to display uh, uh my result 45 here as you can see 450 is going to display that on a, a column that corresponds to zero and a word that corresponds to 90. so column zero is going to be somewhere at the very top and you know 
So there's going to be overlap. So that's why you, if you clear your IO, you know, if you, I mean, we could have don't deal, dealt with the, we could have dealt with uh, the IO not being clear. Let's do that. So I just have to use some judgment here, you know, uh, based on this result, if I were to move down my row, maybe if I were to go down, maybe uh, since this is zero, that means 10 is probably going to be somewhere uh, in the middle between uh, uh, your result is and the first line. So let's do, let's go for 30. Okay, let's go with uh, 30 here as the column and see what that's going to give us. 45 enter okay so 30 seems to be a bit too much <laughs> okay so what if we we can try 20 you know this is live not scripted <laughs> so this is the best way to learn i think 45 look at that so 20 is almost about right but <laughs> it's not perfect so we can do a little bit better we can uh, do uh maybe uh 21 or 22 let's do uh let's do uh 22 i'm feeling lucky so let's do 22 here and at the same time i also want to move this slightly to the right so i'm gonna give 100 and run my program again give it the same number okay so 22 seems to be a bit too much so 21 is probably going to be the way to go and again you can also use uh it doesn't have to be an uh, integer. Let's do a uh, 21.5. Okay, so I guess I lie. <laughs> so it needs to be integer, whole numbers. It cannot be float or doubles. So that is good to know. I did not, I never tried that before. Kind of makes sense though. So let's do 21. Okay, so 21 seems to be about right. All right. So that's how the output statement works. If you have any questions, just make sure you put in the comment section. That's a long video for just one command. <laughs> I know. But uh, I think I was uh, very thorough. But, so yeah, uh, if you have any questions, again, just make sure you put in the comment section.